Uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Shi, and today I'm going to talk about artificial intelligence. And why I'm going to talk about artificial intelligence is that I feel like artificial intelligence is the only thing that that matters in the next hundred years, and it's the only thing that's the most influential in the course of human history. Because if we do it wrong, uh, we are. Uh, we will probably be destroyed by artificial intelligence, and if we do it right, we could probably live long and prosper. And I want to talk about how AI will benefit us first, and I separate it into three categories. And first, I want to talk about education. Um, artificial intelligence can improve our education in many kind of ways, and we can grasp we can grasp it right now. But here's something that's already coming. And this picture behind the, the text are Microsoft's HoloLens, and it basically create an augmented reality that combines the reality and the virtual world together. And this will increase how kids learn stuff um, in a more knowledgeable way. And when and I feel like we're at the age of technology and information, and now we are still having the same education we had 200 years ago and I feel like there's something's gotta change and I think artificial intelligence can drastically improve how kids will learn in their school and what I think sorry and what I think that school should be like is that we should talk to kids um, about how to communicate with each other and how to have their original idea how to create their own poem how to express their emotions. Those are the cores that we don't usually get in our normal education. And this is probably the most exciting, exciting one that I have so far, and is space travel. And if somehow we created artificial intelligence and we put it into robots or something, and we don't have to worry about oxygen level, we don't have to worry about how long will the astronauts last on Moon or Mars, or even if the planet is habitable or not. We just need to send out our drones and send out our scouts to billions of the planet and billions of stars that we are looking upon our skies and we could just activate them whenever we want and we could discover something that we could never discover before we create the AI. And this is probably the ultimate goal that creating artificial intelligence is for and because from the beginning of um, beginning of any beings on earth there's only one animal that escaped from mortality and that's immortal jellyfish which it doesn't really uh, I don't think it doesn't do any good for that jellyfish because it doesn't have a high intelligence like us and I feel like creating artificial intelligence we can um, using their technologies and how uh, artificial intelligence think and find solutions for us and we could create nanotech that that was implanted in our body and improve our refresh our organs when it decays and we could probably escape the route to immortality and now I want to talk about how AI would change the world as we know and here's a picture of it's a screenshot of a the movie is happy and it's it's really a good it's it's a movie about how AI helped us and how 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 also how scary are they if they learn in a wrong way and this is the news that I saw on May sixth and the first road legal big rig that can drive itself is already on the road and I feel like this could be the first stage of artificial intelligence and let's say when all uh, when the whole United States um, rigs are all autonomous how many people will lose their jobs and I'm pretty sure they're gonna, not going to be happy but um, by losing their jobs they will do something else. They'll probably go assemble new robots and accelerate how we 
chip go to the next phase of the robot revolution. So I think that's something we need to think about, but yeah. <laughs> and um, stage two, I think, um, it's we are at the age of artificial general intelligence, which is equivalent to our human intelligence, that robots can grasp uh, complex ideas, they can think of solutions, they could learn from experience and that's the point that's comes, that becomes scary and when we're at this stage, if we didn't um, if we didn't um, use AI to improve, um, improve humans' ability or our, our intelligence, we, we won't be able to catch up with artificial intelligence and we will forever be disconnected, disconnected with AI if we didn't um, if we didn't improve ourselves in terms of our biological body and our intelligence. And here comes the scary part, stage three, artificial super intelligence. Where artificial intelligence that supersede our intelligence. And the only way that we could understand artificial superintelligence or artificial general intelligence is by copying the neurons in our brain into computer codes so that we could live inside a computer. It's kind of hard to imagine that, but we're basically a computer program, but we're living in a biological body. We just change ourselves into a mechanical body which can be upgraded in the course of technology. And that's the only way that we can understand robots if we didn't if we didn't convert ourselves into something else and we stick to this body that hasn't changed for the last I don't know two thousand years or five thousand years and I think robots is going to overthrow us anytime. And here's a little graph of how we will um, how we will um, how we will think when robots are taking over our jobs. And first, when, a, when artificial intelligence robots and they take took our jobs, we'll think about all oh, jobs today that humans do, but machine will eventually do better. But they, they're still not going to take our jobs because we're so we're so we're so intelligent, and they're just robots. And at B, um, the robots. Uh, current jobs that can, human can't do but machines can, which are jobs that when uh, there's an earthquake and or there's a nuclear explosion in places like Fukushima or somewhere like um, anyway places that human can enter, machines can, and at that point we're getting a little bit um, we're getting a little bit scared by robots because. At that point, robots can go on a battlefield and defeat enemies and stuff. And then at stage C, robots, uh, robots just that we can't even imagine right now, which are probably space travel and yeah, which is probably space travel and yeah, and jobs that only humans are able to do at first. Those are the jobs. And here comes the moral question. Uh, this is a question where uh, people like Elon Musk, Stephen Hawking, Bill Gates, they're all concerned about. And um, is that will AI be a good god? And here's a quote from Stephen Hawking: When a scientist asks an intelligent computer they had built, "Is there a god?" and the computer replied, "There is now." Then a bolt of lightning struck the plug, so it couldn't be turned off. Thank you everyone.